What's up everybody, I'm Clinton Sparks. Welcome to Backstage Diaries. Get familiar with my photo shoot. Yeah! Yeah! You want this money? Come take it from me. Won't stop and up in your gold, gold rush, girl. You chasing paper, you almost famous. Get familiar, we're in Hollywood at the Still Jeans. We're doing a photo shoot, we're listening to my new EP Icona class, and you're getting familiar. What does it take to have the persistence that I have in particular? Mine probably is, I come from Boston, and I come from a broken home where we had roaches and food stamps and welfare, and it was not awesome. I think my persistence is to never know what it feels like to be broke again. So that's one of the main driving forces behind why I work so hard and I always feel like tomorrow it could all go away so I, and I always notice other people right behind me trying to take my spot so I'm always trying to run in a sprint to make sure these guys can never catch up to me. The best environment for me to be in when I write songs there isn't one. I might write a song on an airplane, I might come up with an idea in the shower, I might walk down the street and see a couple having a fight and then I make my own opinion of what that fight was about and what the end re result was from that fight and I can write a song based on that. What is my style? What is my wardrobe? Hmm. It can range, man. It, it depends on my feelings the same way when I write a song. I might write a song uh, about love one day and then a song about hate, you know, the two opposite things uh, back to back days. So it could, the same thing goes with my clothing. I might wear, you know, some fresh raw denim like this. I might wear some sweatpants. You know, one day I may wear Adidas shell toes, the next day I wear John Barbados Converse. So it's different. It depends how I feel that day when I wake up. I am not a model nor try to act like I'm one, but some of the tricks of the trades that I have found to help during my photo shoots is move around a lot, especially on the red carpet. The people on red carpets definitely want to see some, yeah, woo, ah. They want to see that. When you're standing like this, they're just like, whatever. That's how you get this. How do I create a playlist when I'm going to DJ? It's, there's multiple ways. The, the way I like the most, which I do more often than not, is I don't. <laughs> I just figure it out when I show up. Because it just depends how I feel when I walk in the club from the vibe and the people and just what I feel like doing. Once in a while when I do have some time on a plane, if I know exactly what kind of club it is and what they expect of me, I might put together like the first couple of minutes intro so it's already done because I jump on speakers, I run around the club, I'm on the mic so sometimes I need little parts already done and I know what's going to happen so I don't have to run back and switch that record real quick because I'm not at the booth. If I had to compare my music to a bag of potato chips, the first thing I would think is that's an odd comparison. But then the second thing I would think of is family size. Just the biggest size you can get so you get more music. I don't know, does that make sense? I guess it makes as much sense as the question. That might be my first real Hollywood experience. This photographer said, take a picture of my shirt off and don't worry, we can Photoshop you to make you look better. Come on, man. What is my mantra? Well, anybody that knows me and knows me from the beginning of my career to now, they know that Get Familiar is my handle. Get Familiar is what you need to do. And Get Familiar is what I do with everybody else with new stuff that comes out, whether it's music or products. And I have a company called Get Familiar that we do marketing. And uh, it's Get Familiar. Young Hollywood, get familiar, Young Hollywood. That's a wrap. Thank you everybody for watching my backstage diary, younghollywood.com. Shout out to Distilled Jeans, and don't forget my EP Iconoclast, out soon, get familiar.